Hi everybody. This is part two of uh, how to build a cheap hydro dipping tank. It, uh, I'm not making this video to show how much I know. I'm actually making it to show how much I don't know. This is a process for me. I've been learning as I go. Uh, like I said before, everybody tell you a little bit, but not everybody tell you everything. So I'm, I'm still figuring things out. So if anyone is like learning how to do this as I am, maybe we can share some tips. But here's where I'm at. Uh, I got my tank all prepped. My temperature is between 70 and 80. I think it's about 73 degrees. And uh, we're ready to dip. My pump is turned off. We're good to go. Now what I do, as I go with tape all around all four corners of this, because it's just easier to put in. I bring it over as careful as I can. And I lay it in there. And you don't want to get any air bubbles. You lay it down. Now, there's a big air bubble there. You kind of pick the corner up and chase it out of there. Because any air bubble or imperfection will show up in your in your dip. And I found out that you use a bigger piece of film than you're actually going to need because there's always like an air bubble or something that screws you up. So get a bigger piece of film than you need. That way you can find a good spot in it. There you go. Now you got to be careful. See, there's like this one laying in there. It's been there about a minute, and we're. And we're getting like little creases here. You need to stay away from that as much as you can because it will show up in your dip. It soaks for about a minute. What I'm dipping today is like an old helmet. I don't use it anymore. That's why I don't care if I get it wet. If I was going to probably do this for a nice helmet, I would have gutted it and went from there. Here we go. Not much. If you use too much, that stuff will run like paint. About 20 seconds. You see it expanding. Now we gotta try to get this whole thing covered. And like I say, it may or may not work. I'm not that good. Shake her around a little bit. See there? Like I said, I'm not that good. I got a space back here, didn't cover, and I don't know why. But like I say, it's a process I'm learning. And uh, keep watching. Hopefully, they get better. Some things do turn out. I did this 103 for my uh, little piece off my Harley Davidson. It turned out great. I just did that the other day in flames. It's not too bad. I mean, I, I don't know. It's just a process. I think my tub's working well. I think, I'm not sure what's going on. If anybody knows, tell me. But they didn't, I did put that in. So, uh, keep watching. Maybe we'll get better. Thanks.